Hey, welcome to Team Hotel TV Week 6 Predictions. This week I got a new co-host, Buddy Chocolate. What's up, brother? How you been, man? Got some chocolate up on this piece. All right, <laughs> so we're going to jump right into that first uh, first pick. First game pick is just a game of the week. We got the Raiders versus the Seahawks. Chris, Leo, tell me what you got. Wow, this game is going to be a real good game. At the beginning of the season, I thought Seahawks were going to blow them out. But the Raiders have come on and come on hard. Right now, they're fifth on offense, fifth in defense. Seahawks are third on offense, second in defense. Now, the thing is, the past two weeks, the Seahawks have scored 86 points. But I don't know if you knew this, but the Raiders have scored 100 points in the last two weeks. Wow. I think if, right now I'm seeing Andrew Sumter. I think he's the greatest quarterback in Timoteo right now this second. And I think that he's going to shock the world this week. And I think they're going to beat the Seahawks. And uh, even though they got, they got to face the Cowboys, the Colts, and the Seahawks over the next three weeks, I think this kid is the real deal. And uh, I think they're going to beat the Seahawks 37-30. Wow. Mm. I mean, shocker. I I agree with Chris as far as Andrew probably being the best quarterback in his league, but I definitely don't think that they're going to beat the Seahawks. I just think that the Seahawks has too much weapons, again, too much speed, probably the fastest receiving court in the league when it comes to um, having um, a bunch of speed on that team. But I don't think that I'm – buddy, stop. It's <laughs> making me nervous over there. Yeah, but, chocolate um, rubbing off on you. Yeah, right? I mean, Andrew's playing um, magnificent. He threw eight touchdowns. I mean, since he's been playing, I think he scored over – like about 150 points since he's been at quarterback. But I don't think that their defense has enough um, juice in them to actually stop um, Mikey in that high-powered offense. But I do believe it will be a high-scoring game where the Seahawks will pull this one on 48 to 35. Wow. What do you think, buddy, with a tan? <laughs> no. <laughs> Seahawks is going to bomb them 50 nothing. Oh, 50 0. Mm -hmm. You don't wow. think Andrew we, the real deal? No. We still score. got young Mikey. We got Sheen. Do we got Joey. This is good receiving core. 50 nothing. Andrew going to throw a touchdown. No. That's you know what it is? It's that's that a huge prediction. Buddy see, you yeah. you got to think about why he's saying zero. Buddy had a long week. I mean, you know, his oh, team got yeah. was acting up crazy. He was trying to coach on the sideline. Yeah, right. He was trying to, like, you know, do his little I mean, job what, for what the What happened to the Pac-9's QB this week? I mean, he was nuts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did he, like, yeah. did he take himself out of the game? Uh, he took himself out. Well, yeah. Buddy take came six, over, six. and they said, Buddy, you know, he's, he runs the Packers. He's, he's in charge. Yes, he's really so he said, take Shane out. I'll talk to him. Yeah. So that's what happened. And that's what it is. Buddy can't focus today because he's too busy trying to pull Shane back yep, in yep. No to play this it. week. Wow. And, you know, that's why he's talking about something that they're going to score zero points. What's wow. wrong with him? Wow. So <laughs> points. let's jump right into that second 1 o'clock game where we got the Bengals versus the Packers. The Bengals been talking a lot of junk to my Panther players, and they're not, they're not happy about it. Yeah, the Bengals and Panthers. I mean, the Bengals won the first game a couple weeks ago. You'd think they're going to win out the rest of their lives, right? They got spanked this week and shut out, and it was a bangle brawl. And uh, it got kind of kind of funky, more like Timoteo World Star. Um, I think the, the the Panthers though, we had we had the Panthers had the, the best performance we? on offense. You doing what? I didn't say doing? we. You heard him say we. Oh I man, they ain't never Freudian like, still coaching. Nah, okay. nah. No, no. I said I'm a French. <laughs> we. Yes. We, we, right? Yes. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. we, 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 we. Yeah. All right. yeah. no, I said weed. All right, now, anyway, no, no. All right, all right. All right, so Panthers had their best, their best performance this week on offense and defense. Uh, I think uh, they have a, if they win this game, they pretty much, as, as I lay out who I think is going to make the grade eight and the poor four, I think they actually can get in. If they win this one and lose out, they'll probably be the seventh or eighth seed. If they win out, they could be all the way up to the fifth seed. Uh, I think the Panthers beat the Bengals. I think the Bengals without the quarterback aren't going to be able to keep up. I think the Panthers win this one 33-19. Yeah, I got to agree with Chris here. I don't think um, the Bengals are going to score much points without their quarterback. I think, you know, that really hurts them there. You know, Dave was playing pretty pretty well, you know, for a rookie quarterback. But um, I just think that um, the Panthers are finally finding out their rhythm on offense and on defense. And, you know, the new QB seems to, you know, be doing the simple thing as far as check down, hitting the open curls, the quick seam routes, and they're finally starting to gel on offense. So I think the Panthers are going to win 28 to 6. What do you got, Big Shane? Big, Panthers, big buddy. Panthers big are buddy. scrubs. They always be scrubs. <laughs> without, they're nothing without Jay. Jay. Um, see, that, Shane did to him earlier in the season. Is that what you're going to say about uh, the Packers when Shane leaves, buddy? Yeah, yeah most likely. All right. No, because then we still got Ryan. I mean, but he's a scrub sometimes, too. Yeah, that's true. But uh, that's true. Basuda. Basuda. the score is going to be 24-12, <laughs> Bengals. Oh, wow. Dang. 
Big buddy going the wrong wrong way. Okay, so <laughs> let's go straight into that 230 game where we got the Rams versus the Cardinals. Yeah, these are two teams going two different directions. And the Rams are ninth on offense, 11th on defense. The Cards are seventh on offense, ninth in defense. The Cardinals, what happened? I mean, this was the shock of the year, hands down, no doubt about it. To beat the Pac-9 the way they did was shocking. And the thing is, the I thought the entire game they looked better than the Pac-9. Now, I don't know. I think this could have been a blessing in disguise for the Pac-9. But, uh, but, but, but I think for now, the Cardinals, I said they were going to win out the last three games. They shocked me. They were actually going to win out the last four games. And what looked like an absolute losing waste of a season, now I think they're going to end the season 5-3 and three and be high up and seeded. And uh, I think they're going to beat the Rams pretty easily 39-12. Yeah, I mean, that win against the Packers was definitely a boost, and not to mention that they scored over 30 points on what was supposed to be the second-best defense in the league. I was very impressive by the Cardinals. Also, one of the kids from the Cardinals, I, think, I believe he wore number seven, he predicted that they were going to be the Packers early on that day, and they had all the confidence going into that game, and they did exactly that. They beat the, they beat the Packers. Buddy was going crazy, pulling his hair out. That's why he had to go to the beach and get a tan. And that's how he's here today, unfocused, you know, biting on the pan, clicking on the pan. You know, he cut his hair and everything. You, you, oh. look, you look sharp a little bit, buddy. Um, so, you know, Buddy's still going crazy over that loss with his team over there. He has to find a way to pull his assistant coaches, his starting quarterback, and his team together because, you know, they were over there fighting all over the place amongst each other. He even sucked one of the referees. We had to tell him to calm down. So, um, but... Back to the Cardinals, I don't want to take the um, focal point off of them. You know, they're on fire now. They have all the heat. They're ready to sit there and take it to the next level, and they're just going to be too much. I mean, they're going to win this game 45-21. Mm -hmm. Cardinals is trash. They won from bad coaching. Mm. Rams mm. is just going to be a uh, – You saying the Pac-9 was bad coaching? Yes. Huh. Yes. Well, buddy, you don't, buddy, uh, that's, 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 you don't never do a bad job. You're mentoring yeah. him, man. You going to trash him like that? You going to talk about your right, assistant coaches like that? Well, Rams is just Is it your monster. fault, though, buddy, because you picked the coaches? Well, you were coaching there, buddy, so what happened? I had to give it up. It was my time <laughs> to give it up. But the Rams is going to be a monster. It's just going to be dying. You think the dollar in the world, the Rams going to beat the cards. Well, who's going to throw the dollar in the world? Hold on, hold on. Dada was exposed by the Panthers. Ask the Panthers how many catches did Dada have. You know what I noticed four about Dada? How many picks Dada, Dada had? Four when he was on zero. defense. <laughs> he got many picks Dada had. Picks. He got many picks Dada had. Yeah, four. that's different. Yeah, but four. Four. And they, they do it right to him. It's like he's on the team. If you play physical with Dada, and I was watching when the Raiders was playing against the Rams, every time Dada went up with the ball, they were just playing physical defense, and he couldn't come down with the ball. Yep. He was catching it at the highest point, but every time he was coming down and bringing it in, it was coming out, or when he hit the ground, it was popping out. So all you got to do is play a little Somebody physical with him, Rams. and I believe the Cardinals have enough talent to play physical with him. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the first half of week six picks. Stay tuned for the second half.